everybody, welcome to another episode of Stoneface Reactions. I'm Theta, that is Shy. I can't point this way, it points behind me even though it's I know. literally pointing at the wall. You got this. Anyway. You'll get it figured out one day. I have it figured out, I just, I, I figure it out means I do it, then I explain it. <laughs> you know what, is, you get your point across, that's all that matters. I don't, that's the problem. Oh no, because you, you you get it across when you start explaining it. It's all good. Anyway, you remember what happened in the last episode? Surprisingly, I do. For once in our lives, uh, our 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 guy who ended up being Shide, the priest guy, uh, gave us basically the origin story of Heine, where she was a space alien turned meteor turned whale turned little girl, and then he proceeded to knock her up through the last three hundred years and put his soul and or memories mentality in the baby and just live eternally like that because he's half shadow now and then at the very end uh they were gonna kill him and he ended up killing ushio and like when he looped back when our boy got impaled and died and he went back ushio's not there as far as we're aware she's not there so that's it's the first time he's gone back without her so it's kind of actually big right now yeah also, they killed one of him, which is also confusing. Yeah, yeah, because he's 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 been creating all these alt bodies for himself too. I think he's been cloning himself. It's a very weird situation. Yeah, it's he's he's his own great 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 granddad and every step below that since. He's uncomfortable. And yet he has the same interests we do. You know, it's just two sides of a coin. You got the head side where people people like that one. It's generally, you know, favorable. And then Tails. Nobody wants Tails. Yeah, what was it that he was doing? In? He, they came in and they started talking about video games or anime or Yeah, something. yeah, he was a little bit of a weeb. He was a little... Yeah. Well, can you, no, he's a little bit of an otaku. You can't be a weeb if you're Japanese. It literally doesn't work. Oh, right, right, right. Sorry, he said weeb and I was thinking of neat. No, no, no. God, I would love to watch that show sometime. I never mind. That's a whole series of shows. Um, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, I actually got the recap for you this time. Look at that. Yeah, and I didn't remember it until you said it, so it worked out perfectly. I'm helpful. Oh, wow. Everyone, everyone, can you please subscribe for my memory not failing? Thank you. Thank you for your subscription. Make sure you hit that bell button, too. Thank you. Yeah, we're down to 79.6% of you viewers it. being You're not subscribed. It. You're killing it. Keep it up. We've reached that point is less four than 80 of audience. Yeah. What I asked. So yeah, uh, let's break into some comment review. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking at the comments. It's like, oh, I'll take the two line and give you a paragraph. I, I'll no. take a paragraph. That's totally fine. No, no, it's fine. Uh, Daniel Anthony, uh, responding on episode fifteen. Now again. I'm going to read it exactly as they've typed it. Mm -hmm. Done fact, Chide doesn't uh, just come as a name for someone who's forearmed. It's also the name of that paper instrument that, sorry, Karakiri? Is that the name we know? Karakiri? Is that the, the girl who never opens her eyes? I'm going to go with that then. Uh, the paper instrument that Karakiri uses... It's basically the Shinto equivalent of a ceremonial bell, or at least similar. Oh. And that should be an interesting hint. Sorry, we're both dumb. He's, he's the guy who is Shide. Oh, yeah, yeah, the guy who we yeah. literally were just talking about. Yeah, literally the same guy. And that should be an interesting hint, because we have two random words that sound the same, but are a hint towards the identity of Karakiri, Simply because Hizuru mentioned that word, sneaky little animatrix. Yeah, I definitely would never have caught that if you didn't say that. That's super neat. And here you go. Here's one for you. Same author. Uh, Mr. Daniel Antonini again. Hello. Theory time. Ushio mentioned this episode that she is Haine's right eye. What if Ushio is also Hiroko? Think of it like this. What if Ushio popped out of Haine so that Hiroko could evolve into a better version of herself? And in this episode, Ushio talked like Haine for a moment and had a red eye as well. I remember that. 
Basically, there seems to be two incarnations of Hiroko, Haine and Ushio. We don't know which of them is okay. Ushio could very much be a villain, and we wouldn't know it because she wants to play along until her Hiroko side decides to pop off. Honestly, though, from what we've seen in this episode on her Hiroko side, she seems to be fine with Shinpei, so let's hope it stays like that. Yeah, I, um... I like the idea of the goddess being split in two if she mentions that she is the other eye. I've been saying for a while I think it was Ushio who gave Shinpei the power in the first place. Um, I think that would be interesting. And it would definitely mean that she's coming back at some point, which I already think she's going to because she's the main love interest and there's still several episodes left. Well, two thoughts. One is what I responded to to the comment directly, is that I must have missed the part where Ushio mentioned that she's Hainé's right eye. I um I don't necessarily remember that part either, but um it's it's kind of in the promotional material and everything. You know, she's got the red eye. We saw her kind of like switch in that episode. Um, I I don't necessarily remember the part about the uh being the other eye, but I do remember the eye happening. Right. And uh, the second thought is that if she is that other eye and she gave the power to our main character, then the fact that he's still traveling through, the, through time would indicate that she's not gone. Because I'm thinking on it, if, if she gave him the power, it's entirely possible that he has some kind of subconscious hey i'm just gonna re-manifest her ability oh that's uh, that's different from what i was thinking oh i know i was just thinking uh on a completely different tangent i'm sorry i just i had a thought and i was like well i need to say that no 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 i mean i understand where you're going i was thinking more like he's borrowing her power oh that yeah she is the eye see that I yeah see that, definitely. i mean um, if she's turned in... out to be a bad guy then maybe she's yeah. hiding right now that's what this I, is. I don't think she's gonna be a bad guy, but if she does, that would be that would that would be the plot twist I wouldn't see coming. I guess. Yeah, that she's not making all of the other shadows good. She's just turning their allegiance. Really purposing them, yeah. Uh, I, don't know. I I I definitely don't know if I vibe with that theory. I don't even know if I want that theory, but. I do I do like the two incarnations idea. That would that would kinda that would be cool for me. I'd like that. Alright, uh last I, uh... I, I need something to kinda bring back the giant space meteor whale girl, mom, daughter thing. Right. Alright. <laughs> last comment from episode seventeen. Again, Daniel Anthony. Yo, this man's on it. What's up, boy? Since you guys were talking it over last episode, let me mention it. According to Dr. Hishigata, Haine's true goal is return to her homeland, a place where beings of this world cannot reach. Now, I don't know about you, but that kind of sounds like the Divine Realm. Senkyo, check Google Translator if you want to pronounce Hishigata. I, I, I hope I got it right. It will spell it out for you. Where Now, now this is the one where we need the translator. Where Aizengani, Azagai, and Izanami, help me out here. Izanagi and Izanami. There you go. Are currently living with the other gods. I mean, why wouldn't she want to return home? She got good parents. She got a hot-ass little sister called, what's the sun god's name again? Amaterasu. That's the one. And a hot-ass little bro called... Sukuyomi? That's the one. Okay, Sukuyomi. Yep, you got it right the first time. It's a lit ass I family. Up. I, I get that. Uh, the only way that that holds theory is if the other gods are also space whale daughter moms. Well, you know what? Let me but just... honestly, like at this point, that. Let makes... me just copy this no. for you to respond to for episode 18. Alright. As it directly relates to what you just said. Yo, what's up, Daniel? Anthony? Again. All right. Hiroko is not a whale. She's a leech-like god. She was left in a basket by her parents and left at the mercy of the oceans. So she found a whale and copied it. As for the alien part, it might just be a red herring because they showed 
that it's the character's thoughts, not an actual fact. So don't worry about the alien stuff too much yet. We've yet to see. I mean, all right, but like she she came from space one way or the other. She's she's or even from another realm. Technically, you're an alien. I, I don't I know. That, you know, I, I don't know. I was hoping, like, honestly, like it is what it is, right? I, I'm not as upset about it as I was last week. But at, at the end of the day, I thought it was my this is my Earth, uh, fantasy sci-fi mystery thriller. You know, it just it feels like it feels like they threw a lot of curveballs with like the info drop dump, info dumps last week. It was really just a lot, and it was really weird. I don't know if you remember when the very beginning, I thought it sounded like God. I can't remember the name. Another anime starts with an N. Where it's uh, basically the same idea, doppelgangers of yourself, but they're coming over from another reality, and that's what I thought this anime was doing. And I think we've proven that this is not what's happening. But uh, when I've already signed off on alternate reality shadows, I don't think I'm too much put off by possible space aliens. That's valid. I, I really do need to emphasize that my, my disappointments and my criticisms are coming from my own expectations of what I thought was happening and what I wanted to happen. I'm not necessarily saying the content is garbage, but like, it's not what I thought it was. It's not the series I thought I was getting into is all. Yeah, it could, it could have gotten a lot harder into the Cold War era spy versus spy kind of thing. I know it's not what it was, but if you think about it, imagine that this island is infiltrated by Russian spies instead of shadows, and you're trying to figure out who's a spy and who's an actual citizen of the island, and it wouldn't be that much different from the mystery section that was the first yeah. part. It's like, why are they here? What are they doing? Who can I trust? Who can I not trust? It wouldn't be yeah. much different from a spy novella. No, definitely not, but then they'll hit you with the curveball of, hey, the spy came from space, and I'm like, okay. I think fine. at that point, though, it'd be a lot more interesting. It's like, what do you mean? That this spy is actually a cosmonaut? Yeah, and... I guess I guess, I guess, guess the thing about the Shadows is, like, they already had enough going for them. You don't need to keep, like, adding onto it. Like, it's it's fine. It's fine where it was. It really was. These, th these copycat doppelgangers erase you, make things. I was here for that. I think at the very least they do add on in layers, though. Like, they introduce an element, they don't explain yeah. it, you live in the world of that element for a little bit. And then, it's like, oh, you mean the forearm dude was the dad? And then it's like, because we've only been introduced to the forearm dude, it's like, who the hell is the forearm dude? Right. It's like, okay, well maybe it's the, the, the doctor guy from the hospital. It's like, no. Totally unrelated. And that was a red herring. Mm -hmm. And now it turns out to be weirder than we could have possibly imagined. Captain Incest, really. I mean, Surprisingly, that is the weirdest part of this anime. At the very least, I guess it didn't start off as incest. I mean, no, it didn't start that way, but it did start off a little weird. I mean, that was, like... She's permalocked as a little girl, the one that he used to take care of. It's a little, it's a little weird. I think. Yeah, there's a lot of levels to that. Let me bang I, I, my underage I think we can mother. Leave that one. I think we just leave that where it is. That's just creepy anime guy number thirty-seven. You know. Yeah. We could just leave that one. We can follows, let that sleeping dog lie. Follows right along with a comment I had to make yesterday with Gundam. Uh huh. I'm watching the imagery. I'm like, Griff, is the implication here that this old man likes? Rough sex with underage boys is a comment I had to make based on the visuals I was being given. I'm and so sorry. I don't think I was wrong either. <coughs> I'm so sorry. That is not comfortable. It was apparently the protagonist's... No, not the protagonist. The antagonist's, like, backstory was being shown to us. Okay. By why he's doing the things he's doing. Like, I, I, I get it, but, like, alright, I guess. So, uh, yeah, check out yeah. Gundam. Yeah, check out, you'll find out why they call him the Iron-Blooded Orphan. No, antagonist, he's not the orphan. Well, I guess he was. He was adopted. And kills his adopted family, so. 
Iron Blooded Orphan. Orphans. They're all Ooh. orphans. What they call human debris and space rats. I want to be a space rat. That's an insult in that uh, in that show. I want to be a space rat. Scoundrel. I'm taking it back. All right. Well, how about we get into summertime, Hunter? I would love to get this over. I mean, get this going. Burb. Oh, is that a uh, Hane Hiroko? Uh, no, I would assume it's um. Oh no, never mind. She's a good girl, bro. Now she's a good girl, though. Never mind. <laughs> I was thinking. She's with the. She's with the good guys now. Sister. What's the sister's name again? Uh, Mio. Yeah. Or the other one. I was thinking it was no, no, not Mio. The the one who never opens her eyes. No, no, no. I'm having a hard time remembering. The little girl from the beginning. But that oh, is that is yeah, yeah, yeah. now. That is yeah, one... now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so never mind, you were right. It just took me a minute to go full circle. Oh good. Yo, sometimes these got dots gotta connect. It's all good. What's the tone of voice made me think of the face that she always gave them. Yeah. And it still caught me off guard. Yeah, they just showed her there in the opening. Just catches me off guard all the time that she is also her. Yeah, because that, that, that was something that, like, I don't know. We, we, we just we just stayed locked on that girl for so long, and it's like we, we didn't add that up at all until it was like, hey. Okay. There was no reason to. Yeah. We hadn't been introduced to the underground or the concept of hyena. You had to understand one to understand the other, and we were yeah. living in the past. Good night, everybody. Okay, make any more jumps. Yeah. He got lucky enough to have this one, honestly. I mean, if I knew he was going to be right here, why couldn't she just set up an ambush and kill him? I mean, that's what she's doing now. I guess she got the babies back. Or new babies. Ooh, these are looking even more malformed. She's really, uh, losing it, huh? Does that guy grow up to be in a sports anime? Like the haircut? I feel like I've seen that character design before. It's just the haircut. He's got sports anime hair. It's not quite card game anime hair. Why would she care about that? あの時戻った力はお前を追いかけんのに尽こうてしもたわ。お前の命ここで削り切る。バイバイ。<笑> How convenient. Yeah, what does he have in his pocket? I'm hoping a flashbang. 
Sounded like marbles. Or the necklace. Could be. It's not on his neck. ようが死んだだと。はい。状況が変わりました。一度集合して作戦を練り直さないと。分かった。で、場所は島の北東、虎島はどうです。艦長の時だけ渡れる離れ小島か。はい。ちょうど30分後に艦長です。yes perfect now that your enemy can traverse water perfectly and turn into right. birds now apparently is this the part where they're all going to be squids in the water from the opening oh nice they did copy him in like the first six episodes mm -hmm. I just appreciate how we're calling it a very stupid plan. Of course it's stupid, they're making it to trap them. Hmm. そうと一緒に出かけて行ったんや。お前に会う言うて、もう30分ほど前やぞ。どこ行くって場所は。いや、そこまでは。心平、何度会ったんだ。そんなことだったらめ。うん。ほら、減ってる。え、ええ、ええ
the copy itself, they have to refresh it. Remember, that was a big thing with Ushio's injuries. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Shadow Mio is going to sacrifice herself. So you think they're going to go the obvious route? I think they're going to split. Well, no, I guess that split was more obvious than even the obvious thing. Because you have no more jumps back in time. Which means all she has to do is run out the clock. Pretty much. This is going to be a lot harder without uh, Ushio. Alright, what was the tell on this guy again? What do you mean the tell? There's two of them and one of them has like a, a mark or something. The burn. The burn on the hand. Did that happen in this one already? I don't remember. He's never eaten a human? <clears throat> Can't imagine that's gonna go well. He's still half human. I like both of them had the time thing in the bottom corner, but this one also had at the same time across the time. <laughs> <laughs> ルーノスケでも人と影の区別はつかん。着信は確かに今は私たちも県外です。心平さんに会うために、ミオはお兄ちゃんと出かけたって、さっきアランは言ってましたが。こっちに向かってたらいいけどな。オールマンズ、ゲットアリトルダイアログ、ですエピソード。ロックアップ
読まれてんのか。ナグモ先生、無事でよかった。他のみんなはどこにいるんですか。はやめろ、ハイネ。I see your eyes. I、yeah. literally see your eyes. l i t e r a l l could have turned from the other direction. 十四年前、ヒズルに、次を追ったら殺すユうたんも、ここじゃった。Yo, I love this fucking this theme, bro. <clears throat> How did she cut him with that? I don't know, I guess it has an edge. <laughs> What is that face? お前から影の気配がしない今みたいに後ろから近づいて牛尾さんを殺したのか<笑>いやはや君にこの手は通じやんか予知能力があるんやってね皆方龍之介くんやっぱりバレてたんか僕の秘密14年前わしが皆方龍之介をコピーしたじゃがわしの人やった頃の人格が友達の弟を食べてしもた事実に耐えられず龍之介のデータとともにわしから弾け出おったじゃがあれは何分事故少々座標がずれてプリントされたようじゃわ座標を入れて,て1ではなく<笑>時間の座標じゃ正確には2秒先の方へずれちゃうあらまあそいつは今ニビオミライカラヒズルノカラダウゴカストルン。Okay。正解かな。That explains it. I'll take it. It also disproves that comment that we read. ねえ、ヒズルちゃん。キミ。Oh, that Ushio is the eye. The eye is her brother. Yeah. ハイニワフカクリアツイタ。スイジャクワヨリススミ。モハヤコノヨデワアトスカゲツトイキラリアン。キミノセイナニア。ヒズルちゃん。アイネが帰らんとあかんのも、君の大事な弟が死んだも、全部君のせいなんですよ、ヒズルちゃん。Yo, old man, can you snipe this dude real quick? これ以上、お姉ちゃんを。That she said that she had to, or they had to lure them. I mean, they do. I just want him, I just want him down. アイネの名が君のズレを観測し、私に伝えてくれている。つまり君の2秒のアドバンテージはここでは無意味や。これは泥ですかつて影だった者たちそして今は誰でもない者たち私も私の能力を教えますフェアやないとゲームは面白ないこれは私の意志に反応して形を変えるなんて不気味な一体何人分のお姉ちゃんはなんて表現する Yo, this is your chance to run actually while he's transforming Get into position. So his body thing is basically dead shadows. Yep. <clears throat> Which explains why it's so drastically different from all the others. It's just Frankenstein together. Cool. Dragon Ball Z fight. Why not? Yeah. <clears throat> よけた先で僕を仕留める気かけど、しでに2秒先の僕が見えてるわけじゃない。ハイネが見てから、しでにテレパシーで伝わるまで、<笑>ほんの一瞬タイムラグがある。それなら早く。より早く。僕が動けばいいだけのこと。Please do it, do it!、Oh. Please, please take him down. Yeah, baby. He's not dead, but God, I need this. I needed this. I needed that man to get his head smashed. And neither of the two had burning hands, though. I know. I just, I just needed to see that, you know? Like I said, I knew he wasn't dead. I just.
I can feel like an ability we would think he would have. Flashbacks to multiple episodes ago, but in reality, yesterday. Yeah, right. Yep, death flag. I'll be shocked if she doesn't die. そう、これ夢と違う。ね、なんで、なんでなんで。え、やかましい。緊急事態だ。やむを得ん。お姉ちゃん。考えるのは私の役目だ。お前も見ただろう。あの物質は常識を超えている。だが、あの鎧さえ壊せば中身は人だ。いいか。今から伝える作戦はお前にしかできない。体の。Me yeah, that's actually a very, but better than Venom. He's better than Venom because when Venom leaves, he's still got Brock underneath. Right. This dude just moves away. It's not like this dude is like helpless on his own either. He's pretty good. Yeah, as we saw last episode, where he just killed Shinpei out of nowhere. Yeah, and Ushio. Dude's a ninja because he sneaks up on everybody. For real. My man's been training up in that shrine. Yeah. Was it, uh... Four? Four hundred years? Four hundred years of incest oh. and combat training. Yeah, something like that. That, ugh. Ugh, he's so, ugh. 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 Gross. What a gross character. Oh, yeah. I saw you what Dad saw on you. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> ugh. Oh, 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 that's awful. That's the worst. Well, let's see what combination of three to four words we're going to get as a hint for next episode. Yeah. I really hope we're not going to a Dragon Ball Z four episode battle arc or something. At, at, at this point, honestly, I'm going to be real with you. I'm just ready to take things as they happen. I I don't think it's going to uh, have that vibe in the beginning that I loved so much. It's just not quite finding the transition right for me, I guess. And the clue for the day is... All is not lost. Ushio's coming back, cool. Yeah, I guess that's the surface level of it. That's that's what I'm choosing to accept. I really just don't think she's staying dead. The uh, I kind of wish that she was doing something. I wish that she was dead. I mean, I I honestly could take it or leave it at this point. Well, uh, I want but... consequences to matter. I do too, absolutely. And I know, uh, but at the end of the day, that seashell acted as a repellent charm for. Yeah. there so I don't I know. mean that's true that's why I'm saying it's, it's probably you're right that she is coming back but at the same time it's also hard to say I want consequences to matter in this show about time travel to reverse consequences yeah like the whole point of like yo you're on limited runs 
be careful. Like that's 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 where like the penalty of consequences is important, but I don't know. He's 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 still like every time he loops, he's still not getting it right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that as consequences. Well, I mean, it's probably because there's a alternate time traveler who also oh, remembers absolutely. everything. Oh yeah, that's that's the only way that this show can like work. I think. Otherwise, okay, they never learned about his plans. Cool, great. Uh, he just wins because he manages to make the right plan. Well, I mean, that's what we thought at the beginning, because they said something on the stairs that made us think that they didn't have the time travel ability, and only he did. So, it's like, we have to defeat him here. <laughs> oh, no, we have to make sure that he doesn't die here, so that he doesn't travel back. Either way. I don't know. I haven't. I don't have any thoughts on this one. Get anything? I don't. I don't necessarily either. I. I did a lot of like live commentary. I think I got it. I got it out. I. I don't really necessarily have any predictions for next episode. Ushi is going to come back, and someone's not going to die. That's my vibe. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, I never remember the author's name, but maybe she loses Ryunosuke as part of this fight. But Ryunosuke is already dead, though. Win. Right, right, that's what I'm saying. Like, they'll probably lose that part of him that's with her, I'm thinking. I had no idea what to think about that, because the the Reno's K is literally an aspect of Hyena. Yeah. So, now I don't know where uh, our protagonist's eye thing comes from. Because literally, it was obviously <laughs> Reno's K's eye. Well, going back to... Uh... Daniel Anthony, it I I that's where we're looping back to the two incarnations. I'm feeling. Well, that's what it is. She have, seems to be like the opposite force. You know what I mean? You no, know I'm saying we have Aide, <clears throat> which is the one, the original, right. right? And then we have Ryunosuke, which is literally her other eye leaving her body that we saw in the previous episode. Right. We just but saw I'm it now. Those are two parts of one half. Is what I'm saying is probably what we're looking at if Ushio isn't the other eye. Well, the Ryunosuke separation happened before Ushio. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, there's no eye that could have been taken from her at that point to have been given to... And we keep saying our protagonist because I keep forgetting his oh, name. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so so, so what I'm trying to say is I'm, I'm looking at Anthony's uh, theory here. Right, the the goddess that is Hiroko is two entities. One of them is Heine, the other is Ushio. Heine just had their self split in half after that thing with Ryunosuke, is what I'm saying. So if 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 the the goddess Hiroko has been split in two, you have the hungry one who's trying to do whatever she's doing, and then you have Ushio who's trying to stop that. That's kind of where I'm looking at. If Ushio is not the other eye, that's my. I'm I'm gonna go with uh, Daniel Anthony on this one. I, I mean, I think I have to still disagree because the separation that you're talking about, she described in this episode. <laughs> being... I'm talking even earlier. I'm talking something that we haven't seen yet. I'm I'm speculating. Right. Well, no, I'm no, I'm just rehashing. I guess maybe not so okay. much for you, but to Daniel, maybe. <laughs> uh, that she described the separation within herself having eaten her friend's brother, as having happened right there, and that separation being Ryunosuke. So, the, the separation that you're talking about, it sounds like, would be one that would happen after that, no, in which way case... Before. Speculative theory. All right, well, then it's just not been described yet, yeah. That's that's what I'm saying. It's it's speculative. I think it's something they'll probably tell us later. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I understood... When you said speculative theory, I don't know why I said hasn't been described, because yeah, that's uh, what speculation is. Yeah, it's all good, it's all good. But uh, I don't think I have any further comments on this episode. I think it's pretty cut and dry here. Alright, well, that's been uh, Summertime Render, Sundime Rendering. Uh, for your stone-faced reactions, Theta, Shy, we'll see you next time. <laughs> have a good one. Trying to wave. Hey everybody, thanks for watching another Stone Face Reactions. If you have an idea of another video we could go ahead and watch, go ahead and put it in the comments down below and we'll add it to the wheel. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you thought about this video and what parts you liked. 
And until then, we'll see you next time. Is this too goofy?